Woo! Oh, hey, Seth, come on in. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, hey, forgive me. Yeah. Careful, careful. I got some makeup on. I'm, oh, I'm filming yeah, right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Hey. Yeah, period piece. Good to... Oh, yeah. Yeah. War time. Yeah, the Brian Stevens picture. That's right. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah, I'm working right now. Excellent. Yeah, so That's I'm excited about this. Fabulous. I got another film coming up now because of you. That, this is great. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, people... Um, I'm like a, a Petri dish. You throw cultures into it and stuff sprouts. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, this is really working. I'm yeah. really excited. You want to come in? Come on in. Let's talk. And they're doing a night shoot tonight? Yes, yeah. Right, mm -hmm. so I just had a little bit of time to come home and, uh, you know, get a few things taken care of, but I have to go right back to the set. Well, it's a good thing that we can meet and talk before I uh, get back into, uh, you know, because I'm preparing this uh, remake of the Quadium Factor. I know, and I'm so excited about that. Wendy. What do you do for a living, Wendy? I'm an actress. I've been out of work for quite a while, but I'm back in. Good. It's great. I feel great. find myself in Moline, Illinois, one of the Quad Cities, the one that starts with M. Sounds like Mole. My motel is right across the street from a J.C. Penny. If I need some shirts, I can go over there. Not very many people there. It's the middle of the afternoon. Fresh buds on the trees. Oh, there's a car. So, it's the beginning of a bright, beautiful day, even though it's actually halfway over. I just got here. You know, when you called and we talked about making a remake, I was, you know, I got to admit, I was thrilled. I, uh, so anyway, even though there, I have not all positive memories or thoughts about, the, about that film, I'm still really happy that this is happening. Yeah. And I'm glad to be a part of it. Well, it's, um, it's going to be, the shooting of it is going to begin a bit before your involvement with it to accommodate your work on this... Um, Just so I can finish up this, this world, film? This World War II um, mini-epic you're working on. And, well, I um, appreciate that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I really like it. I feel... Yeah. I can't believe that I've got work right now. It's great. I know, it's like a little little bit of a... You know, it's like a... a like when Moses struck his staff on the rock and water came out. Right? You're the rock. 
And uh, I who guess, would have thunk it? I guess in a way I'm Moses. Yeah. Yeah. Well, mm. you know, I, I identify with Chuck Heston in some regards. I, I don't really get into his National Rifle Association idea, but uh, you know, he was you know pry this gun from a cold. I thought he was a bit of a, a lunatic at the end, but um, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing some location scouting in the Quad Cities area uh, in uh, Moline, Illinois, mm. Rock Island, Illinois, mm. and Bettendorf, Iowa, mm -hmm. it's on the Mississippi, and Devonport. And uh, mm. when you come, uh, it's Quad Cities, and there's it's about 400,000 people in that metropolis area. And uh, we're going to be uh, shooting some of the film there. But yeah. Do we have a date for for when I, you know, for when we start production? When I'm going to be needed? Yeah, figure uh, the uh, the twenty sixth of April. Yeah. Oh, that's coming up then. That's okay. Up, yeah. Well, all right. Well, that that'll work for me. Well, from that's what I understand, your work on this uh, this World War Two thing is going to be done. Yeah, we're going to wrap well, up. You know, fairly before, well before that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, well that 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 makes me really happy. I'm really glad that you you know you're getting like a, a, some work on this this film that what you're working on right now, because then you can uh, you know hone your uh, chops, which might be a little rusty after not you know doing uh, any work for about thirty something years. Um, uh, you know, I'm a professional, mm -hmm. and yeah. I, and I've and and acting is my bread and butter. Yeah. So to say that is is a little, uh, you know what? It, it, it rubs my fur the wrong way. I oh, have. To. Well, you know, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. I didn't think that I, I was saying anything insulting. But well, uh, I sometimes say things that rub people the wrong way. Yeah, I get a little rash. You know. Sometimes uh, I. Sorry. What? Uh, well, that you know that kind of thing gives me a rash. So. Mm, a I, metaphorical I, rash. <sighs> You know what? I I don't. Now you're getting too personal, and I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't think that this has anything to do okay. with the okay. film. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're right. And yeah. you know, we've got professionals working on makeup, so if there is an issue, mm. I don't think that is that there's anything that I need to share with you about that. There's always a doctor on set. That's required. Okay. His name is Dr. Garfield, and Garfield, I've worked with him before. And he is, he is aces. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, All right. Well, I not deuces. I hope that that this isn't anything that I'm even going to have to deal with, really. Mm, right. Well, me too. Yeah. I mean, I don't want people getting sick on my set. No. It's no good. It's on TV. Look at the Country Music Channel. You can watch Shania Twain or Garth Brooks. TLC. That's like births. What else? C-SPAN 2. Congress in action. Fox Sports. Basketball and such. Sci-fi.
I, I've been seeing a shrink about it, actually. It's just it's almost like pathological need to get on people's cases. Okay, well, yeah. I, yeah. I accept your apology, but what I'm trying to say is I'm a professional. So to imply that I've gone soft or I've gotten rusty, you know, puts a burr in my saddle. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I'm doing excellent work on the film right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I talked to the director you, and uh, and uh, to get a report, and he said that uh, he he confirmed it. He said she's doing great. Well, I'm glad to hear that, but I'm a little bit. So, when did you talk to him? Two days ago, and uh, yesterday. Well, that's curious. Okay, yeah. Yeah, All right. well, it, it's fine. I mean, you know, like we, uh, we we had a nice conversation. He's impressed by your work, and uh, that was good to hear because you know after that film that we made, you know your comeback movie. Yeah. Uh, there were times when I I wasn't sure that you were going to be able to carry through with all. I mean all. I think you need to see your doctor again. I think you need to go see your doctor again. Because now you're doing it again. What am I doing? Well, you're, you're, you're being abrasive. You're, you're saying things that, that are, are uh, making me feel bad. You're saying I'm not a good actress, and I just... I'm not saying you're not a good actress. I'm saying that you're a good actress because that director that I talked to, yeah. your director... I, I know. Brian Stevens. Well, he's a good director. Well, but, he's a good judge of acting. He says you're doing great. But you just said that in the other film that we did, oh. I wasn't doing that good. I did not say that. What did you say? I said that there were times when I wondered if you were going to be able to get through the whole experience. Yeah. Well, what does that mean to because you? That means to me what would be helpful is if you would tell your actors and actresses ahead of time what the plan is. So I hope that I'm not this sure that film, well, yeah. We're all going to be above board here. I'm going to yeah. know yeah. way ahead oh, yeah. of time. Yeah. Okay. Of course. And, All right. And well, so, yeah. Yeah, because I that look at you know that's not the tone for our relationship. I might I might hang on to that. I I can't say that I'm going to let that go. Yeah. Well, you're cautious. You know, when one is twenty, one is very willing to do all kinds of things, trust all kinds of situations. When one is older. One is not so willing. Uh, wait, when you're probably saying, like, when a person is wiser, has more wisdom. Can't seem to get away from this lousy weather. You had to see one of my producers, associate producer, about the film, a necessary meeting. Not looking forward to it. So, Annie, I um, I just got back from my uh, location shoot. You know, my I always like to do a preliminary shoot in uh, wherever it happens to be that I'm going to be, you know, making a movie as I did in Charlotte, you know, for that uh, 
you know, those two movies, okay. uh, A Steep Hill to Climb, Steep Hill to Climb 2, you know, you were involved in that second one a little bit. Yeah, and I wasn't, I was not pleased with your location, so I'm assuming you found something more like along the lines of well, what we're looking for. I happen to think Charlotte was a very nice place to make a movie because it's got lots of steep hills in it. But the thing is, yeah, I went to Quad Cities, uh, the, you know, in uh, Illinois and uh, Iowa, Davenport and... I'm Maureen, sorry. Mm. Uh, Rock Island, Bettendorf. I okay. I could have Devonport. sworn. I, I'm sure it's lovely, uh, but I could have sworn that we talked about doing it in New York or uh, you know L.A. someplace exciting, Chicago even, right? Well, you know, it's like well, it's a, it's a original, really original idea to make a movie in L.A. or New York. Okay, but that just it just I it just wasn't what we discussed. That's true. I mean, I mean, I mean, I I, I sometimes kind of go off in a different direction if I have contractual freedom, as I do in this film. I see. Yeah. I've got I've got that, and uh, I I I went to that area because I'd never been there before. Okay. The Missis the mighty Mississippi fly, flows through there. They even got a steamboat. The, the steamboat's not in the movie. However, okay. I was I uh, I did I spent a lot of time in Davenport, frankly. Okay. And Davenport's a very uh, picturesque city. A lot of tall buildings. All right. So. All right. So let's say we continue in this direction, going in Davenport. Davenport. Yeah, like uh, the old couches. All right. So. I think talk to me about there. what 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 did you see? What was good about it? Well, they got this great place. It's an art museum called the Figgy Art Museum. It's a real place. I mean, they got a De Chirico painting there. They got a lot of Renaissance paintings there. But the the, the structure itself, it looks like a. I think I think maybe your dinner's ready or yeah, something. Yeah, no, I, I got a lasagna. That's in there. fine. Yeah. That's fine. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'll be getting out of your hair soon. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to impinge on your uh, my lasagna drink or your lasagna. Yeah. But uh, I got company uh, coming over later, so I I, but, I know that I'm probably not the kind of person you like to have over at your house. However, I, I think would say you know, that. I, I mean, mean, I'm thinking. Seth, of, I mean, it, we go we go back. It's I'm fine. thinking of that. You know, the, some of the incidents in Charlotte. But but anyway, that's that's water under the bridge. But uh, the thing is, <clears throat> they got a really nice bridge in Mrs. in uh, Davenport, by the way, that uh, I shot some footage of. But. Um, yeah, anyway, so it's a science fiction movie. No, there'll be no computer-generated imagery in the film. That's not what we discussed at all, Seth. Well... I'm going to have to talk to, uh, you know, the people back at the studio. I, I'm not... I don't feel comfortable, you know, tomorrow I'm on the phone telling them what's been going on. Well, that this is a totally first. different direction. This is a totally different uh, sort of idea for this film. I, I'm not feeling comfortable. I'm not averse to putting some touches of CGI, and you know, just okay. to, to, to fill in the thing. Good, you know, yeah. You know, like somebody might have some kind of hand weapon, or maybe a tool of some kind, and let's make it look futuristic, and you know what I mean. But but, uh, and and I I I'm very thrilled. I mean, on a positive side, I mean, uh, I'd like to push my uh, leading lady, Wendy Negative. Uh, from um, what? And I'm wait, getting, I, I'm, getting I'm sorry. Pam, Pam Bach. Uh, uh, from, wait, from way back, hold you know? on, Seth. Hold on. Seth. W we did not talk about Wendy Negative. We were talking about, you know, a whole bunch of other A list, some B list celebrities. Nobody has heard of Wendy Negative. Well, how? That's not come true. on. But uh, I've. A lot of people have heard of her, you know, in the independent realm. Uh, she's getting back into film. She's uh, making a, a, a small budgeted um, World War II factory girl kind of epic, mini epic, in okay. Connecticut at the moment. And she'll be available for shooting soon in the Quad Cities. And um, I, I just... Yeah, Wendy Negative, is a, she's a legend. Okay, but Good who's actress. who's legend is she? Mm. Mm. I'm mean, this again. This is this is a. 
I, I, I'm happy. I'm, I'm glad that, that you're, you're you feeling do. confident about, you, you know, the location, that it has a great museum, a, a fantastic bridge. That's, that's all great. And, you know, I, I can, I respect your work, but, but here's, here's the thing. Uh, the, I don't know if we're going to be able to budge on this windy negative thing. Who do you like? I mean, who, I, let me put it this way, who could you get? Well, Bear, bearing in mind, I already promised her the part. Gosh, well, uh, there's a couple. I mean, screwing people actresses. in Hollywood. Um, Scarlett Johansson. It was on our list. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, she's a big timer and uh, expensive as hell. But um, yeah. well, we got we have resources. Yeah, that's true. Right. That's we have true. we have we have resources, which is why I'm I'm struggling. Do you think she'd be available in two weeks? No. See, that's the problem. Then she's not going to be doing the movie. Wendy Negative is well, available. Well, well, where did, what is this timeline coming from? It's, <laughs> well, the movie has already started. I already started making it. Shooting some of the footage. Some of the footage that I shot, location-wise, is like okay. you know, like what you call second unit photography. You know. Okay. Yeah. It's, okay. It's it's a done deal, Annie. Okay. I, I mean, I know you're thinking I jumped. The, I jumped the gun. Yeah. I tend to do I tend to do that. I get excited. Let's give you that idea. I get excited and I jump the gun. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I will I will make the phone call. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But this is this is really a stressful way to work. To, I mean, yeah. we, we, we thought yeah. we were doing something else and then you're you're coming and saying that you spent this time going to a different location, a different actress that we discussed. Yeah, this, I is, this is, this is... I, 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 you know, I rolled oh, the dice. I, I, you know, you, you thought I was going to give you a four and I gave you a seven. Lucky. That's an so, understatement. Yeah. Well, let's hope it's lucky. Yeah. Let's hope. Yeah. I know. I know. I mean, I, I, I must admit, I mean, I, I actually, it's, it's the eternal struggle of the artist to uh, running into uh, money people, business and art. Do they yeah. go together? It's well, what, in uh, our case, it does. Godard's right? movie this is Contempt our is all about. Okay. All yeah, right. you don't know what that is, but but it's okay. Uh, anyway, um, uh, yeah, well, I, it's I do... It's always a pleasure. I, I have company coming. I do greatly appreciate you meeting with me, because I, I, this yeah. was a throw-together kind of meeting, and uh, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah, that, that's all right. Uh, we and, will, uh, I will talk to... And it's okay, I don't want any more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know why I brought that up. I don't know, but um. I don't, I don't know why. I'm... Well, you know. You look good in those glasses, though. But um, I, I'm I'm thinking I need to put them back on. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh. So um. So life has been treating you well since we last saw each other. Yeah, it's been pretty good, you know. I, I think that um, one thing that, I'm, that really surprises me is that, let's face it, film is a really brutal career for women of a certain age. And to be involved in in my in my in my career choice of at a certain age really is surprising it's a, it's a pleasant surprise it's a springtime in a sense it's a springtime it, it's after a, a it's winter a, yeah after a after a long winter mm -hmm. right before i was working again i would really nobody recognized me from my work in the past, and you know, I, when when I was uh, getting into the business, I was waiting tables. You know, I know it's cliche, but that's what I was doing again now, because I knew how to do it. So waiting tables and like Veronica Lake. Oh my God, I love Veronica Lake. You know, Veronica Lake, she was on all those great movies, Sullivan's Travels, This Gun for Hire, you know, yeah. Ellen Ladd's God, great she's just gorgeous, lady. yeah. And when she wasn't popular anymore, yeah, 
she's just kind of drifting around and somebody like spotted her like in the I don't know 50s or 60s and she was working in a restaurant are you kidding me no. I didn't know that Exi that's this is exactly mm -hmm. the Veronica Lake story but with me yeah right oh my god I can't believe it well that really gives me hope well you're doing better than she did because she I think she made a made one or two more movies. Oh god, don't died. say that even. And then she croaked, but oh. the is that Pam? Surf. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. I mean, I, I'm uh, working my, um, my project. Oh, definitely, definitely. May 1st. We're still on. You're going to be going down to Davenport. That's Iowa. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's an old word for couch. Um... I don't know. I think they may have made uh, couches in Devonport. I don't know where that came from. But but the point is, uh, I'm, I'm actually here with uh, an old friend of yours, Wendy Negative. You remember her. I mean, uh, you two, two of you are going to be uh, doing a couple of scenes in the, the remake of The Quadian Factor. That's right. Yeah. Oh, she's thrilled. I mean, I know that uh, she wants to be um, regarded as, um, uh, you know, the main um, role in the film. And uh, frankly, I think both of you are the two leading ladies. Exactly. I mean, I, you know, when you, when you look back at Salt's original film, those two roles are, are prominent in the movie. Yeah, even more than the, the, the chick in the mask, you know, that was that was Wendy, way back when. She's not going to be playing that one, of course, but uh, I got, I got a, like a girl lined up for that. She's like about 23, and uh, she's willing to do the mask. Yeah, uh, no, you never heard of her. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to be in, up in Connecticut at least until tomorrow, and then, then I'm going to be uh, going to be coming back your way, and uh, maybe I could stop by. Excellent. Oh, yeah. All right. Bye-bye. Hey, I just got off the phone with uh, somebody that uh, you used to know, uh, Pam. Yeah. Oh, Pam Buck. I thought, that's what I thought. Yeah. I thought I heard you talking to her. Pam what Buck. What gives? Can you believe it? No, I can't. No, I can't. She is amazing. Okay, you know what, Hickerson? This is going to be a problem. One of my favorites when I was a kid. You know Don well that we do not get along. No, not a kid, really. More like in college. Le are you hearing anything I'm saying? Okay, go ahead. I, you're going to put us together in a film? Well, yeah. Well, you're going to be in two scenes together. That's it. That's what I, I thought would say I heard that you say. I thought I heard you together maybe say, a total of three days, maybe total. Three days? Yeah. You know, I would have been One done... One scene, you'll be in a car, get all that dialogue. In a car? Yeah, there's going to be some dialogue between the two. 
And Where then, were you planning on telling me about? Do you want to drive? She she could drive, or you could drive. She's not driving anywhere. Okay, you can do the driving, but um, and then then the other scene, you're you're uh, back at the, that office where the disaster happens. The I'm building a, where the disaster happens. I'm a consummate actress, and I can pull this off, probably, but she makes my blood boil, and you know this. I've heard this. I don't know it. I mean, it's like, you know, the thing is, is that you got to be able to look past this Look stuff. past? Yeah. Look past? Look past. Yeah. Now, easy. yeah, easy for you to say. Oh, I've done Seth. it many times. I've worked with many people who are difficult. Yeah. You know, you should, if many you care about... Many people who are difficult. Oh, no, well, many I'm people, with one right now. Many people who are difficult. Well, you're difficult. So, I no know. wonder you I mean, work I, with a lot of people I, I who are difficult. I know that I can be difficult. Well, I think you're being difficult right now because, because how, when were you going to tell me? Hmm. When were you going to tell me? What if We're I had, a month out. Okay, okay. What if I had said, when I first proposed this to you a couple months back, hey, guess what, Wendy? Pam Bark is going to be in the film. I would have said, no, thank you. Exactly. So I got Pam Bach and I got Wendy Negative. You're a manipulative. You signed the contract. So did she. Did she know I was going to be in this? Because my guess is she found that out she wasn't going to. About a week ago. Oh boy, this is rich. Yeah. Oh, this is rich. She's she's okay now. She is. Yeah. What do you mean well, she's okay? I mean, she said about a week to think about it, and, and the, the acid in her stomach is not bothering her as much as it was. Oh, wow. <clears throat> acid reflux. Okay. I don't uh, mind, wait, I don't now mind now sharing that with this. you. I think that's published information. <laughs> Pam Bach has acid reflux. Oh, I think, I think she was on Dr. Phil. She, she's she got a lot more than acid reflux. She has an acid tongue. I well, just, I'll give you that. Yeah. That's not the only thing. Yeah, yeah. She has an acid tongue, all right. But she's also, you know, she can be kind of bouncy and happy a lot oh of the time. Oh, my God. And it's so fake. And some people it's find so it, fake. Some, you know, like somebody that is on the surface very happy, oh, but God. is all really oh. horrible on the inside. They, they find that offensive. But on the other hand, she's not like that with me. Yeah, you know, because she's got you snowed. She's got you snowed. And I am, I am very disappointed that, you know, you, you, you manipulated me. I'm thinking, though, right now, mm. what are some of these scenes? Okay, so, you know, There's really, I can drive. Scenes. I can drive, huh? You're driving and you're talking to Pam Bach. Or yeah. you're talking to her character. Yeah. She's I, talking to you. <sighs> so it's like it's back and forth. You'd be driving around. I mean, it's like... Yeah, so there's that there's scene. Nothing you haven't done before. There's that scene, okay. and then the other scene with the disaster, right? Yeah, it's I'm like you're, you're in that office. This work for me. You're in that okay. office, and there's other people in the scene too. Yeah, if you recall. So yeah. if I recall, her character doesn't bode so well in that scene, yeah. Well, you know, she's she's uh, she plays a very selfish woman. Let's put it that oh, way. Oh well. wow! And uh, she doesn't. She's not she playing. Is, um, that's she, not playing. If you recall, that, that's not even acting. That character. She, she's that not character an actress. Dies. There, Good. There's, there's a face melting scene. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be yeah. great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Let's do this. So you're you're looking at at. Uh, I didn't give you the face melting scene. I, that's why I'm saying I think I think that this could work for me. How could I melt that face? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I can't wait to see you melt Pam's face because that's going to be the best. Right. right she's now. trash. Yeah. She's low class trash, mm. ugly, ugly mm, no. specimen of humanity no, I... who is not an actress. Wow, Pam Bach. Ugh. Yeah. I'm gonna have to see my doctor. I gotta make yeah. an appointment. You know, you showed a side of yourself tonight mm. that I'm not excited about. Mm. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a believer in second chances. Mm. And uh, you've just confirmed that, you know, that uh, you don't, I didn't need Especially to give you a second if chance. The second chance benefits your career. What, hey, what did she say about, you, you said that she's known about this for a week? Yeah. What did she I, say I, when I she found out that, that I'm going to be in this picture with her too? She's like, um... Yeah, what was she like? 
We were having coffee in her apartment. Yeah, I bet you were. Mm -hmm. yeah, we were. yeah, I'm no, not we surprised. Were coffee. We were sitting at her kitchen table uh, having coffee. Mm, mm -hmm. And she said, Wendy negative. Well, hmm. Wait, do that again once. Wendy uh, negative. Yeah. Hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, right. I haven't seen Wendy since about 19... Was at that salt retrospective in 1993. God. I thought her shoes weren't quite up to matching her dress. Oh. Mm. But. Yeah. She was awfully she should, cute. She sh What? She should talk. You know she what? She thinks you're cute. Shoes. Yeah. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She wouldn't She wouldn't know fashion if you it know what she across really the said? face. Yeah, I do. She said. Another rainy day in the quad. So very dreary. I'm beginning to understand why it floods in this area a lot in the springtime. If it rains all the time, it's gonna flood. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She wouldn't. She wouldn't know fashion if you want to know what she really the said. Face. Yeah, I do. She said, "I want my name to be above hers in oh. the billing." Oh, we're no. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about mm -hmm. that. The person that is the most professional should be able to get the top billing, and she is not.